How much different can the same car be in two different sims? Well, that's the question we are gonna find out today as we jump into our very first Mazda MX-5 race on iRacing. I'm really interested to jump into this one just to see how it does stack up against the MX-5 in Assetto Corsa, which is pretty much what we've done all our sim racing in up until this point. Will we be able to transfer any of those skills across to iRacing, or will it be a brand new learning curve? Let's jump in and find out. All right, we are ready for our first MX-5 Cup race here. The estimated strength of field is 1,348. These cars drive a lot differently to they do on Assetto Corsa. But first race, just want to keep it focused, keep it on track, minimize the instant points, and um, hopefully we'll be good. Race is one in FM, so I know the track layout. Slightly different in places. Thankfully, in this one, though, compared to LFM, they don't have the tire wall on the fast chicane, so there's a lot more. It's not scary through there. But yeah, just a matter of keep trying to keep it on track, keeping out the instance, and uh, we'll see how we go, I guess. Waiting on the final car to grid. Always one. Hopefully, we can be competitive. Alright. Go. Not sure about the start in this car. Green flag, green flag. That wasn't great, but we're off. You're in the middle, three wide. Hold your line. Still there, still there. Clear, two wide. Clear on the left. Car right. Oh, I left in the space. I did leave in the space. Clear on the right. Pinch the apex though, but I touched the curb. You've got wheel damage. So I need to pit though. Not ideal. And I forgot to take off the refueling thing. Ridden really on a straight, but cast off on the right. That guy. Cast off the head. Go right. Clearly, um, trying to stay out of trouble, but I mean, it's a bit slow. Car on your left. Clear. Car stopped ahead. All right, so let's settle in. Don't know how the damage is going to affect us. Not how you rejoin, buddy, but thankfully, no damage done. P7. We're going about catching Mr. Grey Goose in front of us. Realise that that curb was so slippy on the first lap. Maybe just the cold tyres, but so I'm not quite sure how the throttle blipping works in this car. few times I've been trying to shift down, the car just won't do it, so I don't know if I need to accelerate further or what it is, but something I need to learn with this car, my racing. I 
Let's get back to chasing Alex here. Very slow through there he was. Looking to pick up a draft. Get a bit closer down into turn one, turn two. just didn't see me coming there but he completely drove in front of me there and it's allowed um, Hamish in front then so what Hamish can do against him behind as well. He's set the fastest lap of the race so far. He's very aggressive on those defending moves and that's allowed yeah. Mui past me now. I don't trust driving like Car alongside him. Like he swipes four, across you to like defend. It's just yeah very erratic. Eight though. Five. Five to go. Five laps to go. Eleven seconds back to Marcel, so we can focus all our efforts here on going forwards worry about behind us. just backing off because of Alex's driving but maybe he just had to completely back out the throttle there. You're losing on the car in front. The gap is one point six seconds. And he's binned it. I've gone cut the corner. You cut that corner and got a slow down penalty. You're losing on the car in front. The gap is three seconds. The car in C two just set the fastest lap. I passed me, I got a yield. Clear. Halfway through. Hamish has broken away a bit here. I don't know if we can stick with Kamui though. Let's see. Four point nine is the gap. But Kamui has got a clear track now. Alex with a bit of a fork in the bottle. guys have got the pace on me unfortunately not 
quite up to speed enough with this car yet. Version of the MX-5 at least. Four in the distance, they seem to be coming towards us. Mui is going like two seconds a lap faster than me, though. A little bit too early there, I had to correct my corner because I was turned in too much, unfortunately. cut the second half of that chicane more than I thought you could. Carry a bit more speed through there. Two left to go. Two to go. The leader is running. 40.901. This moment in time. More important just to think about keeping it on track, keeping it within the boundaries of the track, to not pick up any more instant points. Camus was taking a wider line there. I don't know if that's faster. We'll see how this lap pans out when we cross the line. Blade to turn in there. Better didn't have to correct the throttle mid corner. Starting to push the limits a little bit more here, but only got a lap to go, so too little too late, I'm afraid, in this one. You got a slow car on the left, car stop on the left. Oh, Hamish is round. Starting to fire. I feel like I'm finding a good groove though now. Thank you. P6. Groove though, a little bit too late, unfortunately. Drift down a little bit more to the middle of the track there, I think. Give me a better turn and it would have done for the second of those two left-handers, but final part of the lap now. I had to play with the throttle there, I was 
not going to make the corner and have gone out of track limits. The last few corners. So, um, not bad, not great. We lost two positions in this race. Relatively managed to keep it pretty clean. So for a first race in these MX-5s and I race in, I'm pretty happy with that. Miles off the pack, of course, but... It's a good starting point to build from. Um, these job. cars drive good job. a lot differently to the Seto Corsa variants. Still not quite 100% sure how to properly deal with the blipping of the throttle maybe I just not blip in my throttle far enough down to change down but no I'll take it P6 first MX5 race and I race in go check out the results all right let's take a look at the results this was a split four race of four split four or four the strength of field was 1348. We came home in P6. Our fastest lap of the race was a 141.553. Fastest lap of the race by Kamui there was 139.996. So about a second and a half off the fastest lap. We had four instant points and we gain 0.12 on our safety rating, taking us to 2.62. And we take home 40 points for the championship. So there we go guys there was our first race in the mx5 on iRacing and it's not too different but there are some differences the main thing i need to sort of get on top of in iRacing it seems is blipping the throttle on downshifts i don't know if it's just that i need to go further with the throttle on the blips or if there's a certain speed where i can change down at but yeah it does kind of seem like that is the biggest sticking point for me at the minute but all in all it wasn't too bad. A little mistake from me on lap one where I got my tyres. I think I must have got them on the grass. But other than that, a pretty good race and a step in the right direction with regards to our iRacing. If you enjoyed this one, please consider giving it a like. And if you want to see more racing action from me, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you want to get involved with iRacing, check out the link in the description down below. And hopefully I'll see you on track real soon. But for now, all that's left for me to say is until next time, see ya. See ya.